Hi everyone! This video will walk you through how to use your Texas Instrument TI-84 graphing calculator so as to find the derivative of a function at a specified point. This video would be for the TI-84, the TI-84+, Plus, Silver Edition, Color Edition, any of those models that you might have. It is also understood that on your calculator you would have the current updated operating system, the one they refer to as the quote-unquote pretty print. So if yours does not look like mine does, that means you might have the older operating system, which I will address as I go through. So there are two primary ways to use your graph and calculator so as to find a numerical derivative, and it's these two I will be walking you through. The one is called nderive, which can be found on your calculator under math, the math button is in the far left column. And then number 8, you'll see it says end derive on it. The second way is a graphical way. Uh, you'll be required to graph a function, get a good window for it, and then utilize under uh, calc, the second trace menus, it's number 6 to find your derivative dy dx. So let's go to the graphing calculator and we'll walk through each of those. So this one that you're seeing is the TI-84 plus C, which is the color version. Um, if you have the regular version, that's fine. Your, your functions will look just like this one, okay? So suppose I had a function, and I just made one up, and I put it under y equals if you want to use the same one and try it. Just a basic cubic. So let me go back to my quit screen. So we'll go and do the n derive function first. All right, so as I was saying earlier, in the left column, you'll find a math button. So hit that, and you go down to number 8. You can either scroll down and hit enter, or simply hit the number 8 for n derive. All right, and again, assuming you have the updated current operating system on your graph and calculator, it should look like this. If it does not, I have it on the, the other slide that I can show you what you'll need to do. So this notation is really nice because it's really just like calculus notation. All right, what they're prompting you is you're basically filling in, in the boxes that you see. Okay, um, So the first box is just simply going to be an x. All right, That means we're finding d dx, the derivative with respect to x. Now in the second box, the one that's located in the parentheses, you have a choice. Either you can type in the function right there, or if you happen to have it stored under y equals, as we do with our example, we can just pull up y1. All right, so you can do either one. So I'm going to pull up y1. So the way in which you do that, of course, is with vars, and then over to y vars and function, and y1, because that's where mine's located. Then you just use your right arrow to hop over to the next one. You'll notice that now it says x equals. And that's where it's asking you for x, uh, the x value at which you want to find the derivative. Um, the vertical line, our math symbol for such that. So really what, how you would read this is you're finding the derivative with respect to x of what you have under y1 such that x equals, and let's do negative 1. And then you just simply hit enter. And there's your answer. So it's looking like it's a pretty steep tangent line to the curve at x equals negative 1 if it has a slope of about 23. Uh, and you can just keep doing that for different x's over and over and over. So let me show you the graph. All right, again, remember we had the equation under y equals. You can just do zoom 6 to graph it. And again, even if you do not have the color version, this works the exact same way on the regular TI-84s, the 84 pluses, the silver editions, etc. All right, so let's go ahead and find that derivative, the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative 1 again. So what you're going to do is hit your second and trace. You'll notice it says calc, and I'm sure you're familiar with a lot of these functions under here. We want the one down at number 6, dy dx. And you'll notice at the bottom, it kind of puts your cursor someplace right in the center of the graph. You'll notice down at the bottom it's asking you for x equals whatever. So you just simply type in the x value. So I'm going to type in negative 1. Hit enter. And you'll notice right above it, right here, you have dy dx equals that 23 
0.000002, which is the same answer we obtained doing it within derive. So now, again, if you happen to have the older operating system, uh, you'll notice under the first bullet here, um, when you do the math 8, the end derive, you're going to be prompted with something that looks a little different than what you saw with our calculator example. You're going to have end derive, and then you'll be prompted with a parenthesis. You s you'll get the same answer in the end. You just need to enter it differently. So the way in which you'll enter it, I have written out for you right here. Um, the first thing that goes in the parentheses is your equation. So again, you can either type in the actual equation, or if you happen to have it under y1 or any other y equals, you can bring that up. And then it's comma x, comma, and the x number at which you want to find the numerical derivative. And then simply hit enter. Um, again, that would be for the older operating system. So hopefully this was a little help to you. Take care.